What up guys, Alex here, and today we will be taking a look at how I created this cool fire spell effect from my Witch Hunters inspired film. So this is actually a second tutorial covering the VFX from this film. The first one was the realistic black eyes effect, which turned out to be my most popular video and you guys seem to love it. And by the way, if you have not seen it yet, the link to both the film and the tutorial will be in the description down below. Now back to the effect, you will actually be surprised just how simple it was to create this. And the majority of work was actually done in camera. So if you want to find out how to create this awesome effect, then make sure you watch until the end. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a like and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. So like I said, this effect is mostly practical and if you guys want to practice editing it with my files and follow along with the tutorial, I will have the download link in the description. But first, I really want you to take a look at how it was filmed. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god, we need water! We need water, no, no, please, we don't, we're gonna burn the forest. Where's the water? Come on, this is serious. It's so bad. Oh my god, the water. Yeah, that was scary. Anyways, as you can see, I have three clips on my timeline right now. The bottom clip is the character and the other two clips are a small fire and the explosion itself. The reason I have two clips of the fire is because I don't want this liquid thing to be visible in the shot, so I am just going to connect those two and make it seem like it's one shot if that makes sense. I will go to the beginning of the explosion layer, open up the opacity parameter and you can do that by clicking T on the keyboard. And I will click on the stopwatch icon. This is where the fade will start and I will leave it at around 17%. Then I will move a little further and make it a 100 and now the explosion clip is fully visible. I will also easy ease the keyframes to make the transition more realistic and you can do that by selecting the keyframes and clicking F9 on your keyboard. And if I click on this tool right here with the keyframe selected, I can actually adjust the speed of the clip appearing on the screen. And if we play it through just like that, we already have our explosion ready. Now we just need to blend the character and the explosion into one shot. I will do that by selecting the fire clips and pre-composing them. Then I will go ahead and create a mask like this using the pen tool. And right away I will open up the mask properties and feather it out a lot to really blend it in. Now I can see that the angle of the two shots is a little bit different which means that the camera slightly moved while I was recording two shots and there is a very easy way to fix that. I will just scale it up a little and change the position so that the both shots line up perfectly. You can also try reducing the opacity of the layer to 50% so that you can see things better. Now we will also need to adjust the color of the fire clip because it seems a little darker. I will apply the lumetri color effect and just play around with it until the exposure of both shots is the same. And there you go, super easy, right? There is only one thing missing, I want to add some camera shake when the explosion starts and I will show you guys how to do that without any plugins. First pre-compose all the layers and go to layer, new, null object. Search for a slider control effect. Open up the position parameter of the pre-composed layer and alt click on the stopwatch. Here we will want to type in the expression as you see on the screen. Now you can see that we have this empty space after the number 5, so click there and parent the position to the slider. And now, whatever we do to the slider will also apply to our clip, and the wiggle, uh, number 5, is just the intensity. You can really change that number to anything you want. Okay, now I will find the moment where the fire is about to start, and I will click on the watch thing to record the keyframes. Right now it's on zero because we don't want anything to happen before that. Now go further to where you want the camera shake to end and put the keyframe here again. And now we can move to where the fire starts and apply the camera shake. I'll also change the intensity from 5 to something like 9. As you can see, sometimes our clip goes out of the screen and you can fix that by increasing the scale. I will leave it at 108 just to be safe. Now we can enable the motion blur and that's it. 
Right guys, that's it for today. And in the next two videos, I will be explaining how I did this levitation effect using only green screen and also this cool blur distorted edge effect. If you want to see those, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.